apparently a little king was the big news back then. <laughs> I don't think he was even supposed to be all that small. Why do you sound like Bill Cosby? <laughs> <laughs> Chomp, chomp, whoops, I ate you, now I'm the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be the time when you're older from following jail. <laughs> Maybe you should build a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes. I deserve death for singing that. Yes, you do. <laughs> I would never kid about the curse that took daddy away. Oh, oh, oh. Ugh, daddy. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear your voice. Is this a role playing thing? What's happening? Contender? It's a long story. It was his glutton horn when we that start I the played. actual game, I'll explain it to you. <laughs> we shared the doom of eventual death, which something, which is something to share indeed. You mean being mortal? Honk! <laughs> but praise the forest god. In the church, I found a new family. Honk! I fucking love this. I'm not seeking to replace my father, but I'm made to so. I've made so many friends. Father Caramel, Father Peppera, Father Patience. Forgot, forgot not God. Oh, he knew Patience. I'm sorry. Can we talk about how no one should use the word daddy? <laughs> Thank you, goddamn. He chose to do it. And, and allow, he chose to allow be me. Bill Cosby. <laughs> Cross into the holy. What mountain. is happening? <laughs> so, How did this happen? We're, oh, honey. All of those stars in your head, they will go out like candles tonight. Max ass, ass, ass mouth. Smash Mouse. Oh, Somebody once wish. told me that. <laughs> okay, she wants her to be the next wish. Um, yeah, Mr. Nostrum the Mer. Those are my skies, damn it. Why did we lose the skies? What is happening? This. <laughs> More troubles! <laughs> <laughs> Justin. <laughs> I love Justin's out of context question. I. Mm, what are you doing with that snowman? Uh, you say you're carving a hole at the bottom. Uh, <laughs> throw that there. <laughs> Guy defective arm, okay? Don't pick on it, man. It's really self-conscious about it. I <laughs> dropped it more than once. <coughs> <coughs> no! Cut in the, uh... Oh, Ooh. hello! Oh. Well, shit. We know this. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, shit. What is this? Oh, oh, God, no. Girl, what have you done? You. You watched it happen. You watched. It wasn't me. It was this place. It was the oven. It was what you became. Sorry, what? I didn't want to choose what happened to me. I was so cold. I was so afraid. I had to survive. Oh, she ate her. And oh, I did not. The fire. What is this? You are you? You are you? <laughs> Don't you dare speak, you waste of a girl. <laughs> It was her twin. I was we fled into the woods, identical in all things, except for one. When she pulled my body from the water, the only part of me she kept was the tattoo. I've kept it close to me. All down the centuries. I believed in some idea of you. You that is long dead as I am now. But you survived. I... I... Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Which way are we apologizing I'm so to? sorry for this. Get out! 
I'm sorry. I never meant. Meant to what? Get out! <laughs> that I can't afford not to be sure. That's either very sad or very beautiful. You're a fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. I'm freezing. The hunter, her child, the forest god, those aren't your business. I know. Leave all of that here. You were in their forest. I'm an astronomer. <laughs> and it may be their forest, but it's under my sky. <laughs> I bet that sounded great in your head. It sounded great when I said it, ass cat. Goodbye, Adina the Astronomer. Did you name Good yourself? Luck. No. Nope. <laughs> Goodbye, cat. Happy longest night. Alright. Okay, no, no, now I understand why this guy. name is... Why the name of this is called The Lost Con Constellation because we're trying to find what was missing in the sky. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, you know, I doubted you would make it. I promise. promise. How is home? I'm not Same as it, ever, so. gold now, of course. The sheep shut down with the street bird, and now well, you're a. I'm, you know, I'm not touching it. The farmers are really trying to pull them off. Have they figured out why they keep doing that? No one has a clue. Hmm. I know you can't stay long. I can't. So ask. Okay, did you find the goat star? I did. My first night dead. It's there. Okay, now it's... It just appears. Okay. That's how this works. Oh my god! Wait, did we actually just finish this? Something like that. Will you remember where that is? Yes. Instantly forgets it. It's funny. What is? It's always been there. I just had no way of seeing it. You still can't. Not really. But you can chart where it is. That's something at least. Whoa. I feel like just a few feet away. There's this thing bigger than I can't think about. Burning away, exploding, and between us and this sheet of black. And when I think about the feel that like I'm going to overflow. I think about this a lot of these days. We devote ourselves to something we barely understand. Something we can never touch. We give it a name, and give, we give ourselves a name for doing so. All of it creates this connection, and that connection that becomes the thing we can touch. You appreciate those connections even more after you've died. I'm gonna miss you all over again now. Well, on the bright side, you got a star out of it. That's something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. Yeah. Goodbye, astronomer. Goodbye, drummer. So that was all the side content. Now we can actually film. That literally was all side content. Yeah, that was a decent amount of side content. Well, <laughs> that... Oh, no, that was the correct option. I thought you were just exiting the game. <laughs> welcome to Night in the Woods. First of all, uh, welcome, ren random viewer. Uh, you've come in at exactly the right time, conveniently, because we're starting oh, the actual friend. game now. Uh, this is Bill Cosby. I'm Bill. Justin. I am a female cat, apparently. Yep. I'm two halves of a gay couple. And I am leaving. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's me. What? This gives so many questions! <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> is this the gay guy? Yes. This is one of the two gay guys. Hey, Greg. What are you doing here? I'm back. Like, back isn't today? Back isn't back. Too bad you didn't die at college. Wow. 
That's Too bad you didn't catch a flesh-eating disease. Too bad you didn't join a motor murder cult. Too bad you didn't just lose all your limbs in a freak soda machine accident. God, it's good to see you. Ah! Are you, uh, here for band practice? A uh, boy, drum. No, you're not doing that voice for this one. That's the original voice. <clears throat> Just on these tired old streets Mark corners where we used to play Dust trace our tired old feet In circles as we pace our time away I just wanna die anywhere else if only I could die anywhere else So come with me, let's die anywhere else Anywhere Just not here Stuck on this dead end street Where all the new kids come to play Stuck where the past and future meets Watching all our autumns drift away I just wanna die anywhere else If only I could die anywhere else So come with me, let's die anywhere else Any same note twice. Just not here. And if they ever hear my name, will they know I walked alone around these dusty streets, my tired old home? And if they ever stop to think what was here before, oh no, they won't remember that I'm gone. I just wanna die anywhere. If only I could die anywhere else So come with me, let's die anywhere else Anywhere Ooh, chord change. Just not here, oh no Hey, kitten Roar. Oh boy! Oh boy. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm sorry about last night. <laughs> I do not like this role playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dad put him here, I bet. Oh, shit. Dad should move him, it's only fair. <laughs> <laughs> Justin has found something he likes, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Hey, May. Got cups in my ears. Why? I was thinking about how they have beaches in Bright Harbor. And then I was thinking about the ocean. And then I put cups in my ears. And it sounds like the ocean. Wow, dude, you took me on a journey. Speaking of uh, nothing, I guess. So, uh, lives at number two. Click. Hello, Angus. Are you searching, my child? God damn it! You knew that was coming. I did not. Yeah. That was just a convenient coincidence. For Angus. You can search all you like for your Angus. Everyone has a different Angus. For some, Angus is a happy marriage. For some, a good career. For some, a fancy car. Max is a guy named Angus. <laughs> Lives here. My child, no Angus will ever compare to the one true Angus, our Lord <laughs> above. What? Okay. Dear, have you encountered God this day? Look, my mom works at the church. I'm in the club by default. Click. Click. Mm. Yes. Uh, hi, Angus. Angus, you say? Dude, it's May. Tell me about yourself, Maybelline. This isn't Angus. Would you like it to be? Nope, bye. <laughs> Click. I've gotten really lucky with these voices. It's really cool still. I'm deaf doing this, thanks, Angus. Tips hat. Hey, you got that porn off your laptop? I heard you broke it with so much porn. Dude, you know it? What? Is that normal? <laughs> I think so. I, I think I vaguely remember the first part. <laughs> 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 
What? <laughs> what? Was he the guy who gets you and gives you stuff? <laughs> I'm so glad none of these enemies are ranged. <coughs> I'm so glad you said that openly. <laughs> F the police. Gay people Don't are cool, I guess. Don't actually F the police unless you're dating a police officer. Yeah. I want to do it in the literal sense. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do some crimes next time. What is your favorite thing on the internet? My favorite thing on the internet? Yeah. Uh, porn. That one I noticed like immediately how dumb the antagonist's like entire thought process was. There. Dude. Okay, how? I got stuck against the wall that time. No, no, you didn't. I meant for the. The so second one? The second yeah. one, yeah. But you just fucking let him hit you. You have the reaction time of a brick. <laughs> I don't like you. Well, he doesn't even. I got distracted. God damn it. Stop. Stop getting distracted. Well, fuck a duck, would you? <laughs> no. I really would not. Damn it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of that. And I do not have sexual interest in ducks. Well, maybe you should. <laughs> I just genuinely have no answer to that. You are cornered now, my friend. <laughs> All right, playtime's over. We can be an idiot. Ah! Oh! <laughs> what are you? Oh no! Please tell me what to do. Is it kill it quickly? What is it? Walk forward. Kill it quickly. I, I, it's literally juggling me. And right don't now. step in the blood. Is that why? Yeah. It doesn't go away. No. I don't like this boss. All right. Oh, hi, hi. Oh no. <laughs> I'm uh, just gonna run around like that. I can dodge too, assholes. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Just bait it over here. It's fine. Damn it! <laughs> oh, God. I went for the gold and it did not. Damn it! Ah! Ah! Your problem is that you keep dying. Just stop doing that. <laughs> like, <laughs> how did people drown? Just drink the water. <laughs> Just drink the water. <laughs> you know, I'm just picturing someone, like, in, drowning in the fucking ocean, trying to drink all of the water. Oh, yeah, don't drink ocean water, though. If it's ocean water, just drown. It's a better fate. Slurp. <laughs> it's just drown. It's a better fate. <laughs> that was a good statement. <laughs> like, it could be infinite ghosts. I would not have a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> I just got double teamed by Spike. <laughs> the Austin way. Are you satisfied, Justin? <laughs> I like the question mark. <laughs> it was like, what the fuck just happened? So, you've come all this what, where, way. Where the fuck are you? What the? Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> So, my child, you've come all this way to just face little- <laughs> What? Just looks at your dead body on the ground- What? <laughs> what if I just start dodging all over the place? I don't know. Do you want to find out? At least you don't have to fight anything before getting to him. <laughs> you fucking moron. <laughs> you did that on purpose, didn't you? <laughs> There's this fucking suggested article on this website that's titled, What's Behind Those Glasses? And it's just a picture of Angus, and somebody's <laughs> removing the glasses, and he's got, like, the dopiest anime eyes. Show me. <laughs> like, the fucking, like, anime sexy eyes. <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> it's the fucking stupidest thing. <laughs> I believe in you, Justin. You can hit him. Just do it. Just do it! <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking walk is so shameful. <laughs> no. The walk of shame. We should call it the walk of shame because you're getting fucked. <laughs> Dog back. 
Oh, never mind. Dodge back, dodge back, dodge back. What? <laughs> you did it! I, I was the pussy that time. Um. Okay, I'll good. Die well. if I. Okay. I hope not. Alright, let's see the fake anti. Dune Tower. The pale cat was tired. The climb. Okay, it's a her. Okay, the climb lost her early. She rested in the shadows and got ganked by a mimic. And wondered if her quest was truly at an end. I'm gonna go with no. I'm gonna go with yes, this is the end. Let's stop. <laughs> Why were you doing this in the middle of the street? I don't know. Maybe they just like happened to run into each other and they just were like, fuck you, I want that statue preserved. <laughs> fuck you, I want the strip. Fuck you, I want the strip club. <laughs> How does your wife feel about that? I'm fine with it. <laughs> she can go there too. Fun for all ages. It's like that family family fun strip club from uh, Bojack. Yeah. Remember that? No. Vaguely? It, there was an episode where that was a thing. You're home! See, now he looks excited. I'm home! I can legally shoot you for bringing up here, you know? Oh my God. Uh, you never. I used to babysit your cat. <laughs> I have several questions. <laughs> hey, Coolio. Whoa, haven't you heard about this in forever? It's been like three years. That's not long at all. Well, it was good to see you. I'm just back for a couple days from school and... Shut up already. What? We never even kissed. Didn't we? No, not successfully. Um, sorry? Okay. <laughs> I don't even care. Girl at the video store is all like, woohoo, cute boys. And you're a cute boy, Cole. Uh, thanks, May. I, I think. But I hate cute people. He is the worst. Okay, well, I'm gonna go now. Why not just walk away? It's not I'm fought I'm a total trash fire. I got nightmare eyes! <laughs> the last thing you see is my eyes outside the window. <laughs> and I stab you with my knife. <laughs> this would be the best <laughs> Stab, stab, stab! Boom, dead. Now please get there, you're all... Nightmare eyes. New nickname. <laughs> so enough with me, kid. Okay, man. You're gonna threaten people now. I'm gonna get in shape and kick all asses. You need everyone. Everyone I see. Man, I think you need to do. F college. Yeah. <laughs> Those rich kids are not people writing sex and having papers with each other. Close enough. <laughs> and that damn statue pointing at me every day. Supposed to be the founder. It just shapes. I, I'm a total trash mammal. Well, at least you got mammal, right? And nothing is ever gonna work out. Jump into the fire already. We never had a chance here. But I can't go anywhere else. I'm home again. And I can... Do something besides sleep and cry alone. Burp. That's a burp. Because <laughs> things aren't just things here, you know? Oh god. I'm so sick to death. Oh god, she's gonna puke. D does that make sense, C Coleo? But I'm <laughs> Please do so something sorry. Your I mouth. didn't mean to upset you. I think you're really great. Home again! Woo! Fuck! Ah. Oh, there he goes. Look, shit out of her mouth. Fire. That was like, that's not puke. <laughs> Tacos. Oh, God. Sperg. Esberg. Kill. <laughs> it's a bird. It's you're not gonna actually break that, are you? I don't think you can. Or you can. Statue pointing at you. Oh, yes, you can. Just shapes. Mm hmm.
<laughs> okay. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> How did you do that with your mouth? I had that weird horse in it. <laughs> Makes a verbal drawing of a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have no idea yeah. how you did it, but the sounds you've just made have made me somehow visualize a horse. Ah, this scares me. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh god, yeah, that horse was all... <laughs> Static noises fall out of her mouth. <laughs> she like, her eyes roll into the back of her head. I remember. This is where the horror was the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, come on now, come on. <laughs> okay, that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> That's what I want to see. I join a cult. <laughs> That's it's fine. not going to have changed. You have made this happen, Father. He hasn't gone here yet. <laughs> you dumb dumb. You have made this happen, Father. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Please don't make that noise. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought of something from the past. <laughs> what? Well, then. What were you thinking when you made High that school. noise, Justin? <laughs> yeah. You can say, we can call it Connecticut. How about that? Or we could call it's it. It's not. B okay. Washington? Washington's better, I agree. Let's go with uh, Minnesota. <laughs> Kentucky? I like Kentucky. Fried chicken? Yes. I'm with you there. The part of Florida that's actually alright, but it's just <laughs> overshadowed by Florida. What about. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Thursday morning, I was walking to, uh, to the first uh, concert. Because okay. it was at 9.30. Yeah. And so I'm completely, like, ignoring my entire surroundings. And I overhear this one guy saying, Dude, why the fuck are you wearing shorts and a t-shirt? Because <laughs> it was 32 degrees outside. And he goes, yeah. Because I'm always warm when I have him with me. And, it, uh, and I look up, and on his shirt, he has a picture of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that made my day right fucking there. That's actually incredible. <laughs> you did not say that right at all. Yep. I told you, just let it happen. It's nice. He's not gonna try, don't bother. Yeah, just about the whole time. Oh, Evan, you need to at least pronounce half the words. <laughs> Nothing, just tired. Worked all day. I'm all hyper. Good for you. Uh, you're zero fun. Yep. You need, like, some magical shit to, like, give you a new perspective. Well, let me know when that happens. You wouldn't want to miss it. I am the Lord of the Flies! Oh my god. <laughs> Lord of the Fireflies? <laughs> I'm Abe Rogowski, am going to fucking light up your night, you fucking bitch. Whoa. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you would like a firefly whisper or something? They just like me, I guess. Plants. You're an interesting brother, man, Rogowski. No, Miss Miranda's an interesting person. She like mummified a dude. Okay, y'all more being interesting. Woohoo! You know, I have to say this would have been much less unnamed if you weren't on for a ride. See, I'm gonna have a round. I mean, you can certainly be the shit out of my <laughs> you can certainly beat the shit. Uh, I can beat the shit out of anything. You should like channel that aggression you always have into something. So. Uh, Dr. Hank said well, way back I needed to repress it. Yeah, don't do that! <laughs> repress, not like learn to deal with it. He specifically said repress. Uh, 
So do you think Miss Miranda, like, pulled her husband's guts out? Isn't that what you do for mummies? Uh, no, no way. Do you think you'd have the stomach for it? Nope. It probably took a lot of heart. Nope. I wish she would explain it to us. Uh, get it, buddy. She really wrecked, um... Okay, uh, rubble is in place. Yeah, then that should stay where it should be lungs. <laughs> hey, you gotta live here your life. Bye. This is me gone. Hey, wait up! <laughs> You're welcome back to town. You've got a lot of gall to say that! <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling the cops. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never take me alive! <laughs> hey, my boy, you know what I think about the law? What, Garbo? That's a whopper! <laughs> Coming up next, stupid sandwiches! That's Okay. Oh shit. Yeah, remember that frozen lake? Yeah. Evan, suck your pie hole. <laughs> suck <Wait>. your pie hole! <laughs> What does that even mean? You know exactly what it means. <laughs> I don't. I don't either. <laughs> He's the one who said it. I know. How do you know what it means, Evan? Not even because the person who said it. Knows. God of the <laughs> <laughs> he is everywhere. <laughs> He's in your drink. He's in your ass. He's in your dreams. He's in several pieces of people's asses, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Want to hear a po new poem? Fucking yes! Oh my god. Make it end. <laughs> sometimes. Dictate that bitch. It starts with sometimes every single time! I like fruit snacks. <laughs> Out by the train tracks. Decent. A juice box. And headphones. I enter the juice zone. Oh my god. Jeez, those are like all I want now. Come by again. Couple days. We shall hunt the stars. Pulled out a shotgun and harpoon. <laughs> you know God. They will never know what hits them. <laughs> he's like, Megan is already jumping off the building. <laughs> it's the people we didn't voice. He's no, we did nice. voice this. I just don't remember who was who. He's very nice. Nathan, your bird. I think he's I was the very bird. Very nice. All right, whatever. I'll take the female crocodile. I'll take. Yeah, and he can be like the first. A trial run. Where would you put him? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, in That's the basement. <laughs> or in the old library. With all the books. <laughs> He's not going to eat them. Like, Interesting proposal, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you for bringing this to us. <laughs> I look forward to us moving forward together on this. Oh god, it will be brought up at the town council meeting! Oh, that's wonderful! <laughs> Alright, troops move out! He's becoming like the. He's the a simulator thing. The entire town. Oh, hello! I did not see you there! Powering now! <laughs> Nathan is assimilating the town. Hello! Hello! You're Candy's daughter, right? Oh my god. Yep, who are you? Kate, but most people call me Pastor K. Oh, they have a female Let's pastor. Just ignore abbreviation then. You're here, <laughs> right? Yes, exactly. 16 months, something like that. <laughs> oh, new to me, I've committed to this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Do me a favor. Take that last hello and shove it up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> But being in the woods isn't really the same as being in the community. True. Is he cold at night? Ha uh, ha! Huh? Working on it! Why is that a laughing matter? <laughs> like, you're a priest. <laughs> <laughs> is he gonna like die of hypothermia? <laughs> people being cold. Maybe. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, are you climbing inside of- oh. Mallet, you're pregnant! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's one of those god things! Oh my- Husband's driving down tomorrow. What do you do now? Lawyer. Oh wow. No, nice my teachers. husband's a lawyer. I do a lawyer. <laughs> doom, 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 doom! 
He's gonna kill me. He's gonna break and smack me in the head. Log bridge to Valhalla! Cross and die, mortal! This log is gonna snap or I'm gonna break our legs. And have to crawl back into town. Or die of like bears and cold. Remember when we used oh, to knife yeah. fight? Bears. <laughs> yeah. We go home with like cuts all over our hands. So dumb. Well, I. What? I got knives right now, just saying. Holy shit, yeah, you're on! <laughs> First to us out, three times, loses. Get, come get cut, Gregor. <laughs> Say, Say goodbye to your fingers. The fuck? Is this a minigame? <laughs> yes! What? Stab me once, shame on you. Stab me thrice, shame on. Yice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. First one to whist out three times. Yeah, yeah, I got I got it. Stop stalling. On guard. Get stabbed. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how this works. Ow! Ah, uh, I got stabbed three times. Ag! Ha ha ha, eat it. I'm rusty. I'm Unlike rusty. you, I'm not street trash. <laughs> oh, May, you're trash wherever you go. Ooh, ho ho, so that's how it is. I'm gonna stab you repeatedly with this knife! Let's break this log. With the knives? No. This is probably gonna kill us! <laughs> nah, dude. Good point. <laughs> Damn it, I try to jump with him. I'm like he doesn't jump fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, man. Wanna do it again? I was thinking. Yeah? Like, if you see a rotting tree or a log or something in the woods, or like there's ice in a big rock, like, you have to kick over the tree or break the ice. Like, I can't not do that. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Practically the only thing I agree with her on. The, like, feel of... It's different now. Because I was here. Yeah, okay, yeah. That makes sense. These woods will never be the same, man. I changed them. We changed them. Butterfly effect! Oh no! <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah, that's been happening lately. What happened? You didn't hear that? I heard it. What has? Electrical stuff. Hmm. So I don't want to be nosy, but you seem a little up and down today. Yeah, it's a thing. I mean, it's it's been a thing in general lately, but I'm I'm a good person, right? Sure. <clears throat> I don't know. What's up, man? I try really hard. Angus like needs me. He needs a Greg badly. Is Angus in trouble or something? Is Angus in trouble or something? Nah, it's like... He hasn't had the best life. His family's like, pure trash. I assume the family was polite and quiet. Like him? Angus is how he is because he's a super rad person. Who came out of complete shit. I just don't ever want to lose him. Not ever. I don't know what I'd do. I... I don't want to screw this up. What are you worried about doing? Uh, we've had some arguments lately. About what? Uh... Stuff. Maybe I'm inconsiderate. Maybe I'm not good. You're good! But I'm just parking lot trash. Yep. I've known that all along. I've got, like, no future if it's just me. When I'm awake at night, I listen to Angus snore, and I stare at the ceiling, and I think about how I'm a complete piece of shit. And, and, and... Uh. Greg, Greg! Calm down, dude! You're good! And Angus is good! Yeah. Angus is good. Nice, smart, hot, cool dude. Down to chill. Etc. Greg Cetera. And you know... He's got that ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, thank you for finally saying it! It's a fantastic ass, right? 
fantastic. Wow, new animation. <laughs> okay, I'm not comfortable with you objectifying my boyfriend. Only his ass. And who could blame you? I forgot what I was gonna say. I don't know. Probably worried about nothing. I have really up up days and really down down days. And I don't know which it is until it's over sometimes. I kind of coast through the general block right now. <laughs> what kind of birds are those? Pelicans? I have no idea. Hey, or, bird! Why did I say pelicans? I think they're flamingos, but I don't actually know. Northern Dumbfowl! Eastern Skinny Bird! Do they fly south? Do you want me to make something up? Yeah. Yes. That's good. That's real good. How scholarism. <laughs> that was not loud enough. This is why I didn't let Evan do Greg. <laughs> Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's that's why I don't want to do new mantra, I see what you mean by Bill Cosby. Now, what's like this remind me of the early days. <laughs> the witch was like this! <laughs> yeah. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. Most of them, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, those old guys are so nice. Just like they eat us down Next text box that that character gets is just going to be a bunch of blah blah blah. Oh no, he forgot his medication. Give me the trombone. Oh, that that's a person. Okay. Yeah, uh, people. Or not. That's a fox smoking hey, a pipe. Spirits. The, the right, meme Shadow spirits, Lord please it. don't eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Cosby's giving me cancer. <laughs> As cancer. You're probably not the only one. He gives everyone cancer. Remember when Cosby used to be a respected member of society? Remember when anyone yeah. used to be a respected member of society? Excuse Flo! me. Damn it, violin. Dang. You're really bad at calling this. Okay, that's not a platform. Jump on lights. Lights are invisible. Light. <laughs> <laughs> You like that one? <laughs> we drink bike! <laughs> hey, you wanna see something fun? Let's see something fun. Alright. <laughs> Demon Tower time. In the age of blood, a pale one will rise, wielding naught but a simple blade. Who dares to climb the steps of... Dot, dot, dot. Oh shit. Demon Tower. Ancient Doom Spire. Demon Tower. Part 4, Slaughter of the Blood Thief. It's been a while. No, oh, I yeah. mean like... Hey, Nathan, watch not this. Today. Not Baseball today. bat! Ugh! Oh. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Sorry, I only did it to highlight it to Nathan. I'm going to do I know. that now. I only reacted to highlight it to Nathan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hmm, I'm safe. How am I going to open this thing? Blow it open, dynamite. Dynamite! Hey! You are main. No. That's a problem, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, yes. you're scaring me. <laughs> you're too much like me. You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely. Is Can't that the guy's boyfriend? Yes, that's. Do you spooky Angus. face? <laughs> <laughs> Angus, you're just smiling, and it's adorable, not scary. Oh, nice effort, though. <laughs> ghost cats versus cat ghost. Who wins? Cat ghost. <laughs> nah, man, ghost cats. <laughs> Debate. Is it a cat that isn't a ghost or a ghost that is a cat? <laughs> I think the order of it being. St the order of you stating it determines the order in which it became something. So it was a ghost that used to not be a ghost. So, okay, so it's a cat that died and became a ghost versus a ghost that possessed a cat. <laughs> the possessed cat, easily. <laughs> yeah, because it also has the power of a cat. <laughs> okay, so it has the power of a ghost in the body of a cat. Whereas the cat ghost is just a ghost. The cat ghost is just a is just a ghost. It's not possessing anything. Yeah, but it's the, it's it's a cat ghost. It's 
It's got the power of a ghost. Yeah, so. but it's a cat. Cats don't ghost. really have any special powers. Whereas a ghost, <laughs> they both have ghost powers. But I feel like the yeah, one yeah, yeah, yeah. The other okay, one. if listen, it stops possessing, listen, it, it stops being what it is, listen. so it loses. No, no, no. The ghost cat. Yeah. Which is the ghost that inhabited the cat? Yeah. Could be any kind of ghost. Like it could be a rhinoceros ghost and cat body. Yeah, but it doesn't have the power of a rhinoceros. It has the mind of a rhinoceros. Sure. Which, which circumvents that of a mind of a cat. The That's soul of a better. the soul yeah. of a rhinoceros. I'm gonna end this. <laughs> Beats the soul of a cat. Hey man, every Those time. things. Don't you do any pagan stuff out there? I'm going to do oh, all the I'm gonna stuff. Do oh my all god! The pagan stuff. I've told you, Nathan. I'll call the cops if you do any pagan. Oh, I'll call the cops if you do any pagan stuff. Cops got nothing on demons and fell spirits. Blech. Dude. <laughs> you can kind of relate to me. Dude, this is scary. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, time to get spooky. I have no options. Sweet. Oh, that's what the picture you had was. What was it? Like, shut up thought or something? It said, I will eat your ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sweet. What? I sent it to the group chat a while ago. It was an image of her in this costume with the dialogue option above her head that said, I will eat your ass. <laughs> if that somehow becomes an option, I'm taking it. Just I don't think it is. I, I will eat your ass. I, will, but I, don't your, I like, will eat your the ass. Meme, the meme was really deep fried, so I don't know. Rich dagger. I can't move my arms! That is the poster on the wall behind you, her, though. Yeah. Dare Did you spin the wheel of destiny? Explain. None can explain the power of the wheel, save that it is an unknown circular soothsayer. Oh, snap. This is gonna say the sooth? The sooth shall be said. <laughs> okay, I'm into this. <clears throat> yeah, spin that bitch. Spin it hard. What does this mean? It's it just will say shit. your suit. Five! That means something, I assume. Right. Spin! A commendable spin! Oh. Your fortune... You fortune... You fortune is your future. Oh, I didn't see ye there. I hope I don't have a choice. Be ye ghosts? Are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? <laughs> Read this all like bad acting. I love it. <clears throat> yes. Though the mists of time I see, <laughs> sorry, through the mists of time I see, were four trappers reary from 1793. Brother John. Yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point, I do spy a deep hollow, and within a great dead tree, and besides with uh, which uh, spring. Blessed are we, Brother Steve. Uh, Steven! Damn it. You're making it even worse. For truly my throat is parched. Is. From these long and. Uh, I. Uh, Ardos travels. And carrying these 300 beaver belts. Let us make haste, O oh excellent brother. Here we go. Hello, travelers! Spell across the bread for a needy woman! Haggard witch! Horrible to look upon! Cruel young men! Ye did not even offer thine one of thy 300 fine beaver pelts! To warm my ancient bones! I shall curse ye in thee! And this very night ye shall perish! I am fearful! Steady, Brother Stephen. I did not venture into these hills to just words with a hell hag. <laughs> I was born among these cheese, neath the harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen. Art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? <laughs> Come, help me carry these 300 beaver thoughts. He's really... <laughs> But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse. Fuck. In vain. Oh, there's more. <laughs> yes, there is. Oh, shit. Help, help. Who will help a poor traveler? Hey! He's not even in a costume. Uh, um, uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir. 
I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yep. Ah, witch. Yep. I swear thee, fr friend, that this very day. Friend. Free uh, end. <laughs> fry <laughs> end. <laughs> Fred. End my fries. <laughs> Fred. Please end this dialogue. <laughs> this horrifying crone <clears throat> did curse my brother and I to die. Swoons. We camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree. And even now his body lieth upon the earth. Lifeless as a pile of 300 beaver pelts. They're really pushing those beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart. <laughs> I did curse this spring. That any man who drinketh from it shall perish. Both of those lines look right. <laughs> it's because they are. Oh. Ah, I am slain. I join thee now, Brother Stephen. Please, dead fall over. Jesus! <laughs> that was even better! <laughs> wow. I'm also undone, for I hath have dranketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> and yet, even there, the curse is lust for blood. <laughs> Would not be seated. Gaze upon them. Yes, what were you you calling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gaze upon the <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gaze upon the spirits. Greg, shut up. <laughs> Brother, we are now ghosts. <laughs> Fucking yeah, man. <laughs> oh, I am tormented by people. these gazing glare of 300 ghostly beavers. <laughs> it would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Oh. Doth that witch know what she hath done? Oh. Shit. Yeah, that's, that's a rough line. <laughs> uh, um. Crap. Four, four. For each man is determined on his path, and each path leads only to his end. Okay. And yet each path wait, may wait. lead to places unknown. Oh, that's him. Oh, that's me. You! From the bus station! Young witch. It is I, the god of the forest. I uh, didn't just expect you to, uh... Ain't that the way? So, which thou hast tarried too long in this world, I banish thee to wander in the night. Wait, the woods, the witch in the spring. Through the stranger places. Stranger things. Uh, I what? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end. At the night in the woods. But that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. This is your line, and that's my line, fucker. Forest God, thou hast no power here. Even now, thy end beginneth. Hack, my infernal powers. Shush, young witch. Even now, the world you know endeth. And who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. <laughs> Take care. And so was founded this then festival. Sorry. On Halloween we shall celebrate the dying of the year. And the founding of Possum Springs. I am Mayor Ghost. Decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline. And now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the county seat. Now leave before I curse you all. Oh no, audience. And that's our show. Watch out, otherwise she'll eat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are we just gonna ignore this?
What the fuck? Oh my god. Hey, anyone! Shit. No, oh, I'm not controlling this. Oh. And the and so it beginneth. I'm still not controlling anything. Yay, cutscenes. Donkey! Close. It's like, get ready, get ready, get ready. Triangle! Stuff her off! <laughs> Pan -pan. Where the hell did he go? Glad I haven't left before this started. Shit! Yeah, probably a good idea. Dun, 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 Nathan, dun. shush. I still can't jump, so we're just gonna hold left. Can you go past the fence here? Show me them demon eyes. Make me feel the Can thing. you move? No. May, go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. You stole some kid? You look like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that. May, you shouldn't be out here. Doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No. May, now. That's why you carry all reliable. Uh, what? We'll find out. Just shush, would you? Demon eyes. Savvy stab, 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 stab. Oh, good. Whoa. Yep. Want to hear a new poem? Yes. Autumn winds. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. What's considered an autumn crime? Robbing a gas station, then blowing it up. In November. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Hey, Mr. Tazikov. Yes, Selma. You're gonna break your neck someday. I will make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a big enough target. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. We should be cut. You too. Are they like a thing or like... He's an old man and she's a young girl. Oh, okay. But they are friends. <clears throat> leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. <laughs> Miss Mayborowski. Prison! Hmm, smell the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of, I want to see some stars. Yes! Come, have a look. This is one of my favorite characters, actually. <laughs> ah, I'm blind! This is your own fault at this point, I would say. Found one! Let us see. Let's see. Oh. Big snake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a broken arrow. Big snake? Yep. Anything else? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same... Big snake. And they came together. And together slew the... Big snake. You learn. Why did this big snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Jeez, I don't know, but can we just keep saying big snake? Big snake. Big snake. Big snake. <laughs> Big snake! 
Big Snake. <laughs> Big Snake. Big Snake. Any excuse to keep talking in this voice, I will take. In life, he spoke with the dead. Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? It's just called being alive. <laughs> it's, it's just, just called just being, called alive. being alive. Not so. His body was dead. So he was like a zombie? But just as smart as before. No looking for brains. So like nobody smelled bad. Just so. Why did they make this guy into a star? I have no idea. I guess it's kind of impressive. Dumb, but impressive. What's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, you just start things like you have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral! <laughs> that is our hair for the day. Well, G. Wilkers, Mr. Chazakov. <laughs> Wilkers. Can we keep saying Big, Big Snake? Big this Snake! This felt like a waste of time. All we saw was Big Snake and Dead Guy, and Dead Guy meant nothing. <laughs> wow, that was pretty great. Yes, it was. More in a couple days? Chasikov is one of my favorite guys Big in the snake. game. Big Snake! Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Sorry, I forgot. Dude, she's like people. your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky short poems. I offer something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception in Possum Springs. <laughs> She's not wrong. <clears throat> uh, no reception here. I wave my black phone. Oh no. In the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy billionaire. Phone app sold made money, more money in one day than my family over 100 generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians waiting for us to die. Lead in our water, alcohol and painkillers. Summers, are you okay? Replace my job with an app, replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Forced 24 seven entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement there in the house and the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their Silicon City to the ground. Holy shit. Wow. D damn. Huh. She rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Somers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks, I wrote it myself. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write hers? Drawing something? <laughs> yeah, drawing a bad guy for a movie. Have you, like, filmed anything ever? I made a little movie with my phone. When I pirated some movie programs. It's real bad. What's it about? Um, lady finds a window in her wall I wasn't there before and it's like looking at her backyard but it's always sunset and there's a guy standing there she can't quite see geez it's actually kind of creepy really I am creeped oh thanks I thought it sucked no, that actually sounds like a really yeah. cool horror film, and yeah. I actually really want to know what happens now. Damn, wh where did the idea come from? I like a lot of horror movies that are really that aren't really gore that are really gory, but yeah. gore isn't always scary. Yeah. So I was thinking of what's scary, and I don't know. Not knowing. You're at home, but there's something new. Maybe you just never noticed it before, and there's someone strange very nearby, and I don't know. Shit, man. Oh fuck. What? Nothing. Creepy. Alright, I'm off. See ya. Later. Oh. Hail sit. <laughs> it's the kids. 
Y'all gonna draw me a pentagram on my friend's blood or something? Ho, oh, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead. But they, they shall, shall give, give you none. none. Oh, wow. Let's just all read all of them. Hey, guys. Do you know these kids? Oh, uh, yeah, we've met. What are y'all doing? So, okay, so... We, we are, are the keepers, keepers of, of the, the gate. gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We, we govern, govern who shall pass. And, and who, who shall, shall remain. <laughs> all right, well... Answer us these questions truthfully. What? And, and you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? You can just call it sex. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer! No. Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I used to it. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Oh, who? Who did this happen with? Ugh. You don't need... You don't know him. Is it math camp? Math camp! <laughs> math camp! <laughs> what, what is math, math camp? <laughs> You go and do, like, math stuff. And camp stuff. Alright? And apparently have lots of sex. It wasn't good. Top-notch math, though. This, this is boring. boring. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Jeez, fine. Describe, Describe your dream date. Are these kids hitting on us? These are stupid <laughs> questions. Yeah, don't you want to have something spooky, at least? Dream, dream date. date. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like, you're gonna wrestle, or you're <laughs> gonna, like, watch wrestling? I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. But they'd have to be like, grr, because I don't even want to date someone who's not grr. So you're gonna wrestle this person? Yeah, that'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding, and then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. You've just described your entire me your entire meeting with Greg. Congratulations. <laughs> That's actually really sweet. In fact, if I guess you weren't gay, she'd probably go for him. Yeah, I no, guess. totally. What do you want from me? Next question. What, what is, is your, your most embarrassing, embarrassing experience? experience? What? Just go with it. Answer! <laughs> One time I farted in front of the glass. <laughs> that's that's it. it. What were you expecting? Okay, okay that sucked. sucked. Now, now you, you go. go. Uh, oh god. One time in high school, I went to the prom with this guy Cole. Oh wow, I've been wanting to hear this story for years. And it was awkward and I had to wear a dress. And I couldn't slow dance. And he was really nice and stuff, I guess. And I tried to kiss him. What time I screwed it up and drew blood? You, you bit him. him? How bad did you mess up this kiss? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So I, like, rushed into the bathroom to get him paper towels. So I'm shoving these paper towels into his mouth. And I already do it, and he starts choking and, like, fighting back. And I'm, like, <laughs> choked. Showing down on candy almonds. From where? I stole them from the tables and shoved them down my dress. So I'm like climbing through these almonds. <laughs> okay, that's a picture of me. <laughs> this is the best part of the game so far. <laughs> so I'm like plowing through these almonds. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried to kiss this guy and then I bit his lip fucking open so then I start cho shoving paper towels in his thing and I'm chewing these almonds where'd you get the almonds? I, I, I just stuff them to my dress so anyways I'm eating these almonds <laughs> and one gets caught in my throat Poco has like slumped against the bathroom wall trying to get myself the <laughs> <laughs> this totally tops the farting in front of a class thing oh god <laughs> and it works but but I puke all over coal. Chicken cordon bleu. 
This, this is, is amazing. <laughs> right then, someone walks in and sees Cole dazed and bleeding and choking, and me puking into the sink. So I pull all the paper towels out of Cole's mouth, and for some reason I think to flush them down the toilet, and that makes it overflow. So I grabbed Cole and pulled him out of the bathroom, both of us covered in puking blood and toilet water, and he ran away and left. And he was my ride. How did you get home? Thank you, Josh, who rode his tractor to prom. So we're slowly driving to my house, car slowing down and honking, while I'm on the back crying my eyes out. That, that was seriously messed up. up. May, I... I... I'm nightmares about it like once a week. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have, have nightmares, nightmares about it. <laughs> Can we pass now? Yeah, yeah nobody's, nobody's gonna, gonna stop that. that. You have, have come, come to face, to face, face with your, your lowest moment. moment. Sorry, I can't talk. You, you may, may pass, pass unburdened. unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let's pass already. The, the power, power to pass, pass was in your hands, hands all along. along. What? What the f in hell? You, you may, may go. go. God damn it! Go to hell, teens. Ha 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 ha. ha. Ha, ha, ha. I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. <laughs> so I'm absolutely plowing through these almonds. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could fall asleep that quickly. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. I probably could right now, honestly. If I wanted to. Oh. Oh, that's a nice little spot on the bottom different. of my corner. This is different. Then what? What we usually see. Well, now it's not. Now we faded into reality, but... Oop, snap back to reality. Oh, there, there goes, goes gravity. gravity. Oh, there, there goes, goes my gravity. sanity. Choke, he's so mad, but he won't give up that easy. Nope, he knows that mom's spaghetti. That's all I gotta say. I'm done. Come on, give it to me. Weird. Are you doing it? Doing it. Oh, yes. Um. Hello. Why are you umming? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I thought to talk to. Are you God? No. Oh. So. Seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me. And I am not this God. And this God is nowhere. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith. And moments ago is the beginning. And I am here, then, and here now. And there is nowhere for God to be hiding. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? Where are you? And what are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There are like bits of the world. I think it was on a train, but it was like also a town. It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands. And they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. A tear? With their hooves. They are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes and lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. Ah. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Bugs. Show me bugs. Ugh. Oh God, oh God. They are blind, but they are seeing you. 
and you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I am tired of speaking of God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you, and the universe is being forgotten, and there is nothing to remember it, not even the things beyond. And now there is only the hole. So a black hole. So does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about trees in the fall? What about the leaves? Bare existence, meaning nothing. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Who? Why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. There is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Ooh, I like that chord. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. He died in a lake. He froze to death on the top of a mountain. Because his, his body was found six days later. <laughs> Frozen solid. <laughs> because... His family never knew. <laughs> they died during that six days. <laughs> Also, also frozen to death. Although that was because old country is very cold everywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they forgot to pay their heating tax. <laughs> they did not. They did not share their wealth for the month, and so they did not get heat. Because he was gone. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> That's all for today. Oof. Oof. That was nice. I'm gonna go jump off this building now and hope and somehow not break my legs. Okay, have fun. Cats are apparently very common in this land. Unlike my homeland, where all is bare. <laughs> it's legit the most fun voice to do. <laughs> I just love it so much. I cannot stop. Justin, please help me. I am stuck. Stop kicking things. <laughs> I meant to slap you and I kind of had to get up to do that and I knocked into it. Is it still going, Chuck? Yes, it's okay. still going. Okay. Hey, B. Hey. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I fixed you. <laughs> Proximity. That's a weird... What, what is with these weird chapter names? Proximity Mines. <laughs> We're going to go pull up the cemetery. <laughs> oh, welcome to old country. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's there. He's like, are you ready for blowing up? Uh, this is game okay. we used to play in old country. It's I known as Minesweeper. <laughs> 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 Ooh, little Johnny found first mine. <laughs> Clue, you found your first mine. It's a momentary occasion. You've lost your first limb. <laughs> Hey, Jackie. Hey, Jackie! Oh, what what are you, a gazelle? Uh, do you Valley want to... girl! Hey, B. Oh, weird. It's May. Hi, Jackie! You brought May. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in. It's a good one. Is I gotta figure like out how to do Valley dancing girl. Dancing and stuff? Like, totally. The world is ending May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Just the difference between your two characters. <laughs> I know. Okay. It's kind of hard to switch back and forth, honestly. It's like casual, just platonic, let shit happen, and I'm the shit. B is like the chillest motherfucker. 
that's why you gotta take it seriously, okay? Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. <laughs> so that's where that line comes from. <laughs> <laughs> right, who? You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Yeah. Do, you think, do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. It's like the Charlie Brown dances. Ah. <laughs> it's just okay. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. Yeet. I mean, compared to them, this is perfectly fine. There's a guy doing the, the the white boy stereotype of back and forth wobble, or he's just drunk. He's basically just, like, fucking doing an idol animation. <laughs> you know in Mortal Kombat, the finish him animation? Oh, yeah. That's what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> he's just perpetually in a finish him. Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Boys. Oh. Boys, boys. Please don't. <laughs> it's hard enough as it is, man. Don't make it harder. <laughs> She's just a horny bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she has horns. Hey, B. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hi, Chris. Uh, hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Aw, oh, she's okay. Did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Like Memento Mori and shit. Yeah, yeah. Sick transit glory and <laughs> <laughs> Sick transit glory in there. <laughs> that laugh was real. You're yeah. laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. <laughs> well, a book you liked? Uh, I like ghost stories. My granddad... <laughs> <laughs> May! May, you motherfucker. I like ghost stories. Does not a transition to talking about your dead grandfather. My granddad died. He's probably a ghost now. And left me an apple crate fall. <laughs> How do we have a comment with no viewers? We have a ghost viewer. <laughs> it's the thing in the woods. <laughs> uh, sorry about your granddad. It's okay. That was years ago. He's... Okay, May, you have officially taken it too far. <laughs> B's mom is dead too. Can I can can I go into this world? Are you sure she hasn't drink it? Yeah, she hasn't drank anything bitch yet. Bitch slapped May, made everyone question what anything's going on, and immediately leave, <laughs> and then act like none of it happened because that's impossible. <laughs> uh, May May stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. May, what are you doing? This is actually <laughs> terrible. <laughs> my, 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 my dog died last spring when my house exploded. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> because it was a, 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 a Oh, a, that's a an actual leak. problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> From when my dad died, uh, he, he, he hit a line while hitting me. What the fuck? Tr trying to dig up the dog we had before. For that, <laughs> because we were going to move, move, and Dad said she had to come with us. <laughs> uh. <laughs> wow. So, Chris, what are you majoring in? Poli sci. Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, no. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty damn materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. Yeah, that's interesting because, you know, that's kind of the... Okay. Haha, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. BB, check this dude out. May stop. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I entered a Michael's firm, yes. Well, I bag groceries. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the confidence. Okay. 
<laughs> May, do you want to uh, go dance some more? Fine. Sure! You should go dance. Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Oh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Want to go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat. And it's a small business. Don't speak their language. Get us three slices. He doesn't sound like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. B knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. She runs it like I run my fucking mouth. <laughs> May no. What even is, what, 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 what is even Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. While which kid over here is studying politicians or whatever, May, what the fuck? He's out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May, stop. What? Ha 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 ha. I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. You know, I basically run Possum Springs. This is not what I thought was going to happen, and I'm mad about it. <laughs> Except there's like a ghost or something. Y you, 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 you two live at Possum Springs? Yeah, I got a problem with that. Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours away? 90 minutes, actually, but no, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey, Rick, be here drove in from Deep Hollow. Silence. Uh, are, 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 are you not a, not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I'm, uh... <laughs> oh, it's a college party. <laughs> B, wait. What, 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 what was that, that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? so, so? Dude, dude, I don't even know. B! There you are! Are you alright? Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous! You're alone in some college town! And you don't even know what- This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these, so I can feel normal. For like two hours a month. You could have been, like, mugged or something. All over some idiot guy? College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this. Ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> this is so friggin' sad. I think, like, obsessively about going to college. Like, really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already is like my wildest fantasy. You have a life! No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown and the bills from my mom literally dying we're so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in. Gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment. As my dad wastes away. And like any idea I had of the future, this big, bright thing just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up. From a dream about nights like tonight. And you can't get that through your thick, fucking skull. I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard, and I take care of what's left of my family, and my life is slipping away, and I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store, in that stupid town. I'm just... <sighs> doomed. You're not the only person stuck here. You know, 
You gave up the thing I can't have. I kind of hate you. I can't not hate you for that a little. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever been asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on the past week? Ghosts and shit? I mean, I met God! He was an asshole! Uh-huh. Ugh. Look. We're both trapped. Or we're trapped together. <sighs> Better be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry. About, like... It's okay. We're like... The best available friends. <laughs> oh god. What river is this? Red Wender. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors. And the river rocks are... The music stopped. Are always looking up at them. Hmm. <sighs> So, like, actual question? Did you think we'd be friends if we weren't, like, stuck together in the same town? Like, we were stuck together in Girl, Cout Girl Scouts? Like, uh, is this just, what's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something. I keep moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Stuck in a basement together. Again. It's a crazy old basement. We call life, Beatrice. Thanks. That's uplifting. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I swear I won't screw it up. Well, you've done it once, so you should know how to not do it again. B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I am like more embarrassing than you will ever be. You are like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely good person. I'll take it. You know what the Fort Lucene Fish Fountain would say? What? Beatrice Antonello, we should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh, wow. A revelation from God. The good God. The fake one. <laughs> okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. Ever think about what, you know, the afterlife? God damn it. I don't have a life as it is! <laughs> Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. <laughs> <laughs> These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. Huh? You're making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks! Can't have a church without potlucks! You could, Malloy, but it would be... <laughs> a whopper! Oh. I thought he was going to say a really bad church. <laughs> I know. Here we are next, Garbo. <laughs> <laughs> That's infinitely better! Unless, <laughs> uh, so, you know, we get to skip the nightmare this time. Oh! That's a nice cord! He's just gonna yeet out of the area. 
I think it would have been really funny if you just right, stood there and watched him walk away. After I really, I really yeeted that raw. <laughs> what? We, uh, today was my uh, oral skills lab. Okay. And we had to in sing... the past two sentences, you have said the words oral, yeeted, and raw. I'm concerned <laughs> with you right now. Do you know why I beat down Andy Colon six years ago? No. We weren't talking then. I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now. And... I'll take her back now. Okay. I was playing this video game. You were like dating ghosts or something. Okay. And I was really into it. I played it like 24-7. It was one afternoon, and suddenly like something broke. Broke? It was just like pixels. The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They, they weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like, I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. Like, that realization really dumped me out of the screen and into real life. And outside in the tree out front, I looked at it every day. And it was like a friend outside the window. I was just a thing, just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by, and he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried, because nothing was there for, for me anymore. It was all just stuff, stuff in the universe. Just dead. Wow, that's... Uh... And the next day it was this that softball game and he was the pitcher when I was up and he just was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry I just I dunno before I knew it I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. Oh, God. He's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of just said it would help me able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kind of. Sort of. But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes, like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. I couldn't make friends. I was just being afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was like this statue of like the founder or something. A really shitty statue, like all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I, I didn't leave my dorm room. I didn't eat or ate entire pizza at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. I finally got up the courage to leave. I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine, let's do this. Ugh. Boom! I know you're in here. Say something! Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself! Yeah, asshole. We're like five times scarier than you. Oh. Yeah, that's if you want to die. There they are, right there. I'm gonna kill them. I'd... You'll do no such thing. It's out of our hands now. That's a your? It's out of your hands now. He shot me! 
then I'd say we're even. The little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? Well, it was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, it's okay. I didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and, and their neighbors. The, then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers. Contributors. I'm okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through his shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much to say in whatever. Mm. Wait, so you think I'd... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired. Constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. I've felt it. it was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it. 20 years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Vest Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance. Carved his initials and date on his door. Then you got this man, the old one. Not even a proper man, big hole, copper. Abandoned. Shoot, long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator. Got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed busts through that wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole and never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer, but someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. It's what brought you down here. So what does that have to do with you or me or anyone? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending over jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants while we worked ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go. God damn it, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. And, oh uh, god, I think I know. Yeah, he's already in there singing to you, right? I... I... It explained it to a few folks. I didn't believe it, but he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? What he takes a shine into. He rubs off on you. You can do things. Never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this. After that first time, after we picked one out. Well... Well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger, and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Picked? First one was Tom Turner, who, believe me, was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here, and in the hole he went. And next week the flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. It's someone's turn to find someone. 
Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules. And I had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never picked no one who was gonna be missed. As a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh god, oh no. How many people have died down here? Oh, I'd say... Three dozen, give or take. Thirty-nine. Am I the only one keeping steady count? I do now. Early on, I think we all wanted to forget. I still got a failing heart. It still hurts. Yeah, that dirtbag kid from the spring. C C Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society. Except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad. It was a rap sheet a mile long. For whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You... you killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousins, right? You know what happened to his cousin. Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey! And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? God, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. All right, now. Throw it down right now or I'll shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here? Sorry, I don't know why I had the yeah. accent with that one. Dan dangerous this far out in the woods and not basic safety. I... I... Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Uh, dang it. They're monsters. None of this... None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are gonna be humming again someday. Old mills puffing smoke. And you kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. It used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids are leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home before it tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together. Where it won't be just... Shapes. I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club? For someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying. That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this. You remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? Well, that's what happens. And beyond that... The jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town it will be just fields and trees. I've seen it. 
I know you have. What? Shh, I thought I... Uh... Yeah, square. I'm kicking. Die. And be judged. Yep, there it is. Figured something like that would happen. I know what you are now. I think I knew before. But, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry. Got me all defenseless. And now I lost more and more and more. It's not getting any better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. The fear hurts. I feel like everything is over. It was long over before I got here. So long hiding. We're trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop. Until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave. When I have to let go. This entire town was wiped off the map. I want it to hurt. Bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off. And everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. Okay. Moons. Hey, say something to Moonspeak. Love it! Shapes. You know I can't understand you, right? I don't speak math. Shut up already. I almost won't save me in the end. I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... I think we have discovered them all. Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them. Wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them. And we just, like, found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars, or name them. But we had these autumn afternoons, and found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened, because hearing it happen to you. That is nice. That's not bad. Hmm. Yeah, that's all of them. Hey, it's you! Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never get your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix it. Whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So, what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember them? No. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. I swear, some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen. And I feel like I should have woken up today. And like, have learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well... In my experience, the big things don't teach you anything. But they make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what comes of it. Huh. Well, done it on a day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's got Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> and despawn. Wait, how do you know my name? Sometimes I stand in the corner of my arms out, 
T posing. And let a gust of wind pass over me. And then I shout, T Pella! <laughs> Damn it. And then this really weird effect happens and everything turns red and really grainy for like half a second. Alright, cool. <laughs> this is the best thing that's ever happened to the town since we got a lot of snakes in the diner. No, definitely, definitely, the, definitely the, snake the snakes, snakes in the diner. I'm with you on that one. The owners were religious and they called in a preacher from one of the holiness camps up in the hills. And he got in there and yelled at the snakes to leave. He said, go on, get. Be gone, snakes. The next day, he died and they set traps. <laughs>